we're all hurting here. They're our children. It's really tough. We're, we're all handling um, grief in our own way. Um, you know, we go through these stages of grief where there's anger. Uh, we go through uh, stages where we're just our hearts are broken. You know, but we're all godly people here and we love God. And we're praying a lot and we're loving each other a lot and we're supporting each other a lot. This is the most horrific thing that you could ever imagine could happen to an organization or anybody like ours. Um, so we're supporting each other. We do have counselors coming in and helping. We, we're so fortunate to have ministers coming in and, and speaking to our children, speaking to our staff. I've questioned God. I've, I've questioned, and I've been mad at God. I've talked to God, and <clears throat> we've had some tough conversations. But you know, God's got big shoulders. And God says He won't put anything on us that we can't handle. And so I know God has a plan. Now I gotta tell you, I don't know that plan. And I believe the devil was working against us so bad with that accident. But we're gonna show the devil we're not gonna back up from doing the good things that we do here at these ranches. All of our ranches, we're gonna keep taking care of these needy children of Alabama. And it's not gonna slow us down, I promise you that. All these young people here have been through some type of trauma in their life. And I I'm not here to question God, however I did and I have, they've already been through a lot. But again, I have to rely on my faith and know that they're in a much better place. But here's what I do know, is that the time they've spent here on this ranch has been the best times of their life. And we have to look back as an organization and know that we gave them, we gave them an opportunity to see what it's like to be loved by a family that we have here, to have all this beautiful place available to them, and, and know that they're cared for. We need lots of prayer. Lots of prayer. Um, you know, we, we do have a GoFundMe account set up that we're, we've got to take care of all kind of expenses that we have here, but you know, that's secondary to what we need. When you see the people all over the country that are giving to us, it, words can't express how much that means to our staff, myself, and the people of this community.